Chuck Man here. Before we watch the random Monday figure, I just want to tell you I'm going to rank every Star Wars vintage Kenner figure there is. 101 figures. But I need your help. In the description below, there's a link where you can vote on your favorite vintage figures. I'm going to add up all these votes and we're going to rank them. Voted by the fans. Every figure from the vintage Kenner line. Not counting droids and Ewok. We're going to do them from the movies from 1978 to 1985. The Star Wars Vintage Collection. That's right. We're going to rank all the figures, but I can't do it if you don't vote. So go in the description below. Click the link there. Vote. And in about a month, we'll do the video ranking every Star Wars Vintage action figure there is. It's going to take a lot of work, but I need your help. I need you to vote today. This is Steve. Or at least that's what I called him as a kid. Or you might know him as the Death Squad Commander, or Star Destroyer Commander, or even a Death Star Commander. Although he was never officially called Death Star Commander, he is often mislabeled as that. Maybe it's because the name on the French card, and I'm not even going to try to pronounce that, translated into Death Star Commander. To me, Death Star Commander seems like a much better name. Because as a kid, we all knew what the Death Star was. We had no idea what a Death Squad was. I can't even think of one time that name was used in Star Wars. But he officially has two names. Death Squad Commander or Star Destroyer Commander. Steve, I mean Death Squad Commander, was one of the original first 12 Star Wars figures. This is, to some kids, our Tarkin figure. Or maybe even to some, our Rebel Soldier. I used him at times, as other kids did, as a rebel soldier. One, we didn't have any rebel soldiers, and two, they have kind of the same helmet. In 1980, when the Death Squad Commander crossed over to the Empire Strikes Back line, he got an all new name. The Death Squad Commander became Star Destroyer Commander. Now there's no official reason for this name change. However, most experts believe the name Death Squad was a little too dark for a child's toy line. I myself can't 100% agree with this. I mean, after all, this was a toy line that had names like Death Star and even Star Destroyer. It's kind of a dark name. So why do I think the name was changed? Well, I think it was just easier to sell him with a name fans knew. With the release of Empire, fans knew the word Star Destroyer. And kids knew if you bought this figure, he was going to hang out with Darth Vader on a Star Destroyer. I think it was more of a marketing reason. But again, this really can't be backed up. There's no really official story. Although his name did change on the Empire Strikes Back card, one of the rarest figures out there is finding this figure with the original name on the Empire Strikes Back card. It's very rare. But if you have one laying around and don't want it, you can send it to me. In 1983, the now renamed Star Destroyer Commander moved from the Empire Strikes Back card to the Return of the Jedi card. Sadly, he never made it over to the 1985 Power of the Force line, but he did get the Power of the Force coin that was part of the mail away offer. Also, he doesn't appear on Tri Logo. Poor little guy. Overall, he was a good figure to give the Empire more soldiers. However, with a lack of rebel heroes to play with, it would have been nice for Kenner to make a rebel soldier over the Death Squad commander. The Empire has stormtroopers, but the rebels really didn't have much more than the main heroes, at least until the release of the Hoth figures in the Empire Strikes Back line. He was a nice looking figure, but there was a lot better figures they could have made as part of the original 12. And now I'm taking my sick ass back to bed. Of course, we'll be back Wednesday with a random video, Friday with the best of Star Wars and pop culture news, and in between that, maybe some random videos here and there. Thank you for watching. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.